I was out here with class and we were making maps. And once I sat down and I looked up and saw dinosaur footprints. Just watch your step. So come on up. So here, this is a beautiful, it's called an ornithopod footprint. This was an ornithopod that was more like a duck-billed dinosaur. And you can tell because of the spoon shape of that middle toe, that big fat spoon shape. We are actually doing a live research project with a collaboration between Dr. Eric Kappas from Southwest University and the Texas Chapter Society of Surveyors to showcase what's going on with our dinosaur tracks. So what we have is our drones, our high density lasers are able to actually showcase where the footprints are, how deep they go, what structures, and actually identify more than what we actually can see with our real eyes. So That's a beautiful swim track or rather a wading footprint from a dinosaur. And so he, there's the footprint, the general depression, but then you can see the toes drag all the way across the track. So that dinosaur put its foot down and pus pushed off with its tippy tippy toes moving forward. And there's another one right to your left, boom. But from a community standpoint, here we have an opportunity as land surveyors to interface with paleontologists and geologists in the Frontera Land Alliance in Southwest. And we have an opportunity to bring together our community because ultimately as surveyors, we literally don't have a society that's not well mapped and that's what we've been doing for centuries. So we want to make this site and all of our site really accessible for our community. It's not just hikers, but if you have an abuelita and abuelita that want to come and see them, you can actually take them. So we want a lifted deck where you can walk up. Some shade structures also available to cover the track so you're not getting burned by the hot sun. It took a lot of work and on, I really want to thank Dr. Eric Kappas for his passion for this site and his goal um, to educate the public and teach them what's here in their own backyard. Are you trying to find a dinosaur track right now? Well, I'm trying to find dinosaur bones. Everybody's realizing these are our dinosaur tracks, and not really ours, my daughter's, and his kids, and his daughter's, and you know, that's, that's, it's my kids' footprints.